Okay, so this is a smaller church. The original one that I did was 26 inches at the highest peak. This one is shorter than that. I can't remember what it is. When I list it on my website, I'll have the dimensions there. But I just kind of started it. So I'm going to flip my camera over and we're going to talk about where I'm at and what I've done so far. So this is a multi-layered um, project. And what I did, and I'll show you on my plate here, is I took the Paint Couture Crust, which is right here. You've seen me use it before. And I added paint to it to get some color. So the crust is going to give me that texture that I want, and the paint's going to give me the color that I want. So this is a, um, it's like a chalkboard color is what this is. So it's um, a grayish, bluish, black color. And I went in and I textured the middle board. So that's what I did first. I just scraped a layer of that on. This one is white and I'm going to do this one white as well. First, I'm going to um, mix up some of the yummy texture. So let's see, I've got a spoon here and I'm gonna go in a little bit different direction with this one today. We're gonna actually use some German glass glitter on it. So I'm just putting a little bit on my plate it doesn't take much paint to color it. And I'm gonna take, I gotta see where I've got the most space here, right there. I'm just going to use um, like a half of a credit card type thing. And I'm gonna load up that. And I added the architectural elements so that you guys didn't have to wait for me to do that. But normally those wouldn't be on here yet. And I don't know what's happening with you guys, but my feed keeps getting interrupted on my end. So I'm kind of going, you know, I don't want it totally covered. I'm gonna get it heavier around there. And because I've got my bobble on there already, I'm gonna take a palette knife and just get into some of those areas that I can't reach. But like I said, normally I would put the bobble on after. This takes layers upon layers upon layers. Is I'm going to add snow to the top of the middle peak. Either snow or where the paint's worn away, however you want to look at it. So I'm going to add that. And that's not, it's not glued on very well yet. Actually, it's not glued on well at all. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pick that up. I used um, resin for this, and I think I overfilled it just a smidge. So we should be good. It should be good now. Well, you know what, now that I got it off of here, I can go ahead and add as much snow as I'd like. There we go. And now I can pop that back on. So this element right here 
is the IOD bobble mold right here. It was made as um, Christmas ornaments and I have found so many different uses for them. I've actually used it as the body of an angel and um, I've seen people use them as snowmen and Santas and um, tin soldiers and all these different cool things. And I just wanted to use them on my churches as architectural. And let's now talk about the doors. So I'm going to want to take some of that color that I started with. Let's see if I can tip this back so you can see more. And I'm gonna take and put the door in the middle. Now I'm going to go ahead, even though this isn't dry, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in there. It's going to be a little bit harder. I'm going to have to skim more. And that'll give me my middle door. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to get texture on my architectural elements. I'm going to use kind of an old cruddy brush and I'm going to use that same color. And I'm going to go in and paint these loosely. I'm not real worried about it because they're actually going to end up being white. This is and I'm going to take my heat gun and get this to set a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take, as soon as I find, oh, here's one, a putty knife. And I do wanna get, um, I do wanna get more white at that part there, but I want more of the um, board to come through. So I'm just gonna take my putty knife and scrape. And that's going to get more of that board coming through. That's where you can really see that crust working for you. And that's where going in with your small palette knife will help too. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is go back to my plate where I have the crust. I've got my palette knife out again and I'm gonna take some of the gray color and bring it in around the edges of my peaks and now I'm going to do the same thing 
with the white. Now I want to bring some variation into the door. And there goes my feet again. So I'm going to take some of the gray, same palette knife, and just kind of hit areas of the door. So it doesn't look quite so drawn on. And I'm gonna use, again, a, a crappier brush. And I'm going to brush, more of a dry brush. No, not, not right there it wasn't. The white, it would really help if this were dry. I do really like this. It um oops. It is it is really wet, but it makes a difference when you bring in a lighter shade of gray. All right, I'm going to try this brush. That's doing more what I want it to do. I'm just going around that door just to give it another layer of depth and you can use any wood for this because the crust is giving you the texture it doesn't have to be you know old iron wood I'm going to take my palette knife and just pull some of that gray into my piece here and there. Not a lot. I'm just going to start here. And it dries clear. Right now it looks milky, but it's going to dry clear. Oops, it's going over the side, which I do not want it to do. Because that's just wasting it. Um, 
I am going to let's see here. There's a plate. I'm going to brush a little bit on. I'm going to pounce it on, not with that brush. Use this brush. I'm going to pounce it on. And I'm afraid you're not going to get the full effect until this is dry. Pull some in there. The dimensional adhesive um, holds really, really well. That's this is um. Pentart Pouring Glaze is what it's called. Okay. Um, I'm actually thinking that my bobble needs it too. We're just gonna go for it here. And I'm not sure that's gonna be enough adhesive on there. So what you see that's milky around the edge, and I'm gonna try and get the light to play off of it so you can actually see what this has done. Let me, I gotta wait for it to catch up. And I'm gonna tilt it so hopefully you can see. That part that's milky and dimensional, that's gonna dry totally 100% clear. I love it. Like. Can, can things be too sparkly? I'm thinking not. All right, I'm gonna um, do the same thing with the other bobble elements. So let me see if you can see. Give my camera a minute to catch up. Can you see it? I'm tipping it and I'm getting a yellow hue. Can you see the glitter? There it goes. It's picking it up a little bit. It's sparkling. So I'm going to paint the sides and finish the bottom and I will post a picture when it's done. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks you guys for being here. I so appreciate you. I'll be back.